Okay, this is a little different than what we've done. This is a hearing for the 2016-2017 calendar. Oh, we have to oh I thought we did that. Never mind. We did ahead. I got ahead. We did the motion, but we didn't vote. Yeah. Okay. So, all in favor of the agenda? Thank you. Okay, so um, at this time, the calendar for the 2016-2017 school year has been presented. It was displayed right, correctly, and in all the places that you could look at. Um, we're giving the public an opportunity. Our adoring public. I <laughs> Thank you. Um, an opportunity to address any of their concerns. We will be voting on this calendar during the open session after 7 o'clock. So for the next 25 minutes, we'll be addressing those concerns with anyone who might have them. I would like to thank Dr. Corman for uh, going ahead and taking off on my birthday. <laughs> oh, that was really thoughtful of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want me to kind of go through the calendar and then if we have any questions from the board, address them again? That's fine. That you fine? can do that. Okay. All right. All right a couple of things. Uh, the calendar, one major, I don't want to say issue, but, but point that needs to be brought up is that it, it, we wanted to roll it back a week. And in doing so, it kind of had some difficulties putting in dates like for Christmas and uh, effective breaks. That my, my belief is you want kids as much as possible to be able to be separated on the weekend to allow illnesses to kind of clear through the uh, air rather than being brought to school. Uh, if you see there, we also added something new that we haven't done in years past. Uh, typically our staff are, that are new to the district have three days additional in their contract where they come in and do completion of paperwork, I-9 forms, uh, health insurance forms, just a plethora of things from the Human Resources Department. And that's typically the, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of the week immediately preceding when all staff comes back. So we've moved that to the 9th, 10th, and the 11th. And on the 12th, we have a teacher um, work day, if you will, that allows our staff the opportunity to come and learn about the new technology. That day we would like to do Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets, uh, also some iPad training for our lower elementary staff and working in for the staff to be able to use the technology as well as meeting some of the new staff when they come back on the 12th. And we've continued with our 15, 16, 17 in August. We've rotated as we do each year uh, grades one and two <coughs> with um, kindergarten uh, because sometimes kindergarten gets to go on, uh, let's see, uh, Tuesday night and then one goes on Monday and vice versa. Each year they swap back and forth. So that shows that change there. Uh, we discuss with the staff, we do a school calendar survey, asking the staff what they would like to do. One issue that, that we believe needed to be changed was November 23rd uh, due to that half day. And uh, the staff really didn't want to take it at Labor Day. They wanted us to kind of tack it on maybe later on in the year. So you'll see as you glance down through the calendar, our parent-teacher conferences are the same. Uh, let's jump to September. Uh, we still have September 2 and 5 off. I do want to point out that a lot of staff's um, perception is that that policy is for, it's board policy that they get the Friday and the Monday off before and after Labor Day. But it's actually not a policy, it's an administrative procedure. Um, and back, my understanding, talking to Beth Ann, my, my guru on such things, back in the day when teachers had a negotiation that was worked into the administrative procedure for that year. Administrative procedures, that is what the administrators use in order to enforce policies or put policies into practice. So a procedure can be changed at any time, because procedures change, without a board vote. However, policies cannot be changed. So I told the staff we would be reviewing this and updating uh, the administrative procedure on the calendar. 
So jumping back to the calendar, uh, we have parent-teacher conferences the same uh, in October. I shouldn't say the same. It follows the same calendar as last year. It's just a week later. We moved everything back a week. Uh, November 23rd will be actually a day off for all staff. Uh, one thing I want the board to consider is Veterans Day. Our policy says school will be off at Veterans Day unless school is in session. That is a paid holiday for our staff. Um, and previous boards expected, I shouldn't say that, uh, previous board members expected us to have the calendar um, in order to respect our veterans be off on the day Veterans Day actually falls. So that might be a Wednesday. So you go to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday's off, and you come back Thursday, Friday. Where a lot of districts move it to whichever end of the week it's on. So either you have the Monday off uh, or a Friday off, even if it falls midweek. There's been a lot of legislation being presented to where schools have to go on Veterans Day so they can honor veterans at school. That hasn't passed yet, uh, but each year it keeps getting reintroduced. So I wanted to kind of point that uh, out. Uh, December, as you see, uh, the 22nd will be um, a two hour early release. And um, in times past, there was big three hour early release, but since we're going less than 174, our four day, or excuse me, we have a four hour minimum in order to count it as a half day of attendance. Uh, we have the teachers coming back in January on the 3rd for all school staff teacher work day. There's work day over there, workshop over here. I know. Um, I don't know. Uh, so that kind of gets us back into Martin Luther King Day being off. We kept with the teachers really responded, and I think it was overwhelming. I know uh, Director Petrie and I think Director Cruz, as well as uh, Heath Allison, were all on the committee. I think about 85, I don't have that number right in front of me, I do, but I don't have to dig for it, percent of the teachers really enjoy that full day professional development in the month rather than having a half day because you just can get more done. And so we've kept with that theme again this year. Uh, we looked at trying to incorporate a, like a four-day weekend there in February by using President's Day and moving that teacher work day up from the last Friday of the month up to the 17th of February, which allows the kids a four-day weekend. Uh, and again, I like that because during the winter months, kids have to stay in due to weather. And if, if any of them are sick, they seem to keep passing it around. Gives our folks time to fumigate, uh, do things in the classrooms, get them cleaned down and wiped down. Uh, end of March, you see um, we have two teacher professional development days. And, and one of the board members asked me, why is that? Well, because we took the day in April because of student testing purposes and also Easter spring break. And we wanted to move it up to March rather than missing so many days in April. That was the thought process there. Originally, the calendar did not have any snow day makeups, and uh, to be honest with you, I didn't care much for that. And I know a board member two didn't like that because it just adds so much to the end of the year. Um, and then we found out this our original proposal had school off on the 13th, the 14th, the 17th, and the 18th of March, but on the 19th is the mandatory ACT. Excuse me, April. Thank you, Director Pickard. Uh, in, in April, that 19th is ACT, mandatory testing for all juniors, correct, Dr. Freeman, right. in the state. And we did not want the kids to come back on the day they're ACT testing. We wanted to give them one day to at least acclimate as much as possible after being gone for so long. So we have and since taken that day of the 18th and moving it to the 12th. Uh, as with any calendar, you have to have um, Days listed and notified of inclement weather, and you see those dates outlined, which are April 12, 13, and then follow May 19 through the 31st. Uh, we have uh, 1,071 total hours. There's some rounding in there. I just put, uh, I don't put dot four. Uh, also, we have 183 teacher work days, but three are paid holidays. So teachers will work 180 days as they did this year and we will follow a 168-day student calendar <coughs> of attendance. <clears throat> Questions? Yes, I was on the committee, 
And I know that one of the issues that we talked about then and has always been talked about is um, parents say the word spring break and it's spring break and they plan trips whether school is made up or not. And so in my thought process, I wondered if we just simply left the, the actual April days the way it is, but in the uh, narration there, you identify the 14th and 17th as spring break and the 12th and 13th as implement weather break makeup, if that would maybe, in mm -hmm. some parents' eyes, spring break is really only the Friday and Monday. Right. You know, maybe starting to change some sure. of that makeup. Or we could put uh, 14 and 17 guaranteed. However, even though it says guaranteed, if they see the 12th and 13th as part of spring break, identified as spring break, they still may not. If we leave it just inclement that. weather makeup days, will they think that they're going to school that day to make up snow? Yep. I would is hope it going so. to leave a? Is, will that send a mixed message? That's my. I don't know. Can we call them maybe the administrators? Sure. Was on that committee. But, yeah, I mean, but we've done this for well, I know, a long but time. but and it's been an issue for a long time, not only in this district but others. And so I was trying to think outside the box what can be done to maybe begin to change the mindset. There well, had been a cutoff. At it was it was the thirty first of January. Right. So is it and still? No, we discussed no, that. We did talk at length about that. Doing. Well, Director Petrie, what about if we do? Um, use the words no school unless I mean I don't want to make it it runs too long and it runs off our page know, down I here understand. no school unless uh, used for inclement weather makeup I mean surely there's some wording we could come up with I see your point because you're exactly right people use that as I think one of the committee's members <clears throat> said that that uh, February and spring break are the, the new June right people plan yeah. their vacations well and um had a conversation at swim class the other day with a mom. Well, it said spring break, so I just planned it. And I said, yes, but didn't you pay any attention to snow makeup? Because, you know, we always make them snow days. And so that got me well, thinking that if we just simply day. identify the spring break as 14th and 17th, and left the 12th and 13th. But then you get in, yeah, exactly. Well, we didn't have snow, we had ice, so it doesn't count. Man, <laughs> Just uh, any any other sense. opinions? What do, you, what do the administrators think? <laughs> Trying to change the mindset. <laughs> we had a couple of calls, but not not many. My attendance has been normal this week. This week, <clears throat> I had maybe five or six that actually turned to the paperwork. We have mm -hmm. leave paperwork that we encourage our kids and to you know fill out through the attendance secretary but I, I didn't even check the attendance today we were running around the building all day. you know my thought is if they even think there's an inkling they're not going to have school they're going to schedule whatever they're going to schedule Could very well be. and i think if you whether you call it no school spring break or ankle weather makeup well we put we can put little parentheses down here and put you know please realize the 12th and 13th will be snow day makeup I mean, I don't know how else yeah, to do it. I was just trying to think outside the box a little bit and what wording could be used um, differently. Can you just to help change can you just mindset? plan it as school days and then if it doesn't snow in a certain that. date, that they get off. you tell them, hey, wow. we'd be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no school, have the day off. Have the nice day. Day. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, if that's the case, we need to put, maybe think of putting the day back in. You know, February 28th, have a cutoff. Maybe we need to think of that. I mean, the committee really is fond of the cutoff because of June. You know, if you think about it, most of our snow hits that late. Right. It's moving February, anyway. January, February, early March, more so. And the 31st wasn't helping us any. Uh, there was no sense to even putting it in there. It's why we, but if we move it back or down, you know, February 28th, 
and then parents would know definitely definitely on the 28th okay and that gives them a month and a half to make plans but i know that's not a lot of time if you're buying tickets for a cruise and the best deals are before christmas i mean i don't i don't know i don't cruise well and i mean I realistically if they're going to buy them they're going to buy them sure i agree if they're going to buy them they're going to buy them so i mean maybe we just do something to draw more attention to the fact that those days may not be there I mean, granted, does say inclement weather makeup day one and two. That's kind of self-explanatory, but you know, maybe we can. Red. You know, yeah, I can change the font. I can highlight the yellow. Does There's you know, a lot of things I can do. Does it help if you don't call those just those two days spring break and just call the 14th and 17th spring break and then list the others off? To, I mean, which is what Director Peter yeah, said. Just see that's the, call the 14th and 17th spring break. If and you want to look at it. Peter. And 12 and 13 well then will people know that it's will that draw confusion with folks saying hey are we off or are we not off um, maybe 12 do not want to change that maybe on the 12th and 13th go ahead and put no school slash inclement weather makeup day it's not like you know separate it totally from yeah. the word spring so, yeah get it out of the, the top line there in blue and it may or may not be any difference whatsoever i just yeah i know that's been that. an ongoing issue <clears throat> so you're saying take the 12 and 13 out of, of where it says no school spring break and then on the 12th and 13th in black put no school slash weather makeup. weather makeup day yeah. that would work. even highlight that in a different color yeah, i could change to that. draw attention to just yeah. those two days to say well mm -hmm. these aren't the same <coughs> oh yeah, so you're saying leave it the same, but take the 12, the 12 and 13 in that line and make it a different color right. or a different font just to where they will know right underneath what those two days are here marked for. Just something to Like bright red, and something that they will. <coughs> Fusion. 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 Mauve. Fusion. Mauve. I think if they're going to want it. That's what I mean. If you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to read your calendar or you're not. Yeah. And most of them know, but this state we came to. I mean, it's happened so frequently. They have a general idea. And our attendance hasn't really been affected by it. And that's what they just said. I must have talked to two of the parents at the high school that filled out the paperwork. <laughs> They're gone. Well, I remember as a classroom teacher, I didn't. it didn't really affect the attendance of my room. Um, the other thing I wanted to throw out is the 11th and the 23rd. The 11th is a oh, paid boy. holiday Which month? What uh, month? of November. I am so sorry. November. The Veterans Day and the 23rd. <clears throat> um, the possibility that classified staff could swap their paid holiday on the 11th and work um, and take their paid holiday on the 23rd. I guess that would affect 12 month employees as well. So you're saying either you take the 11th or you take the 23rd, yes. but you give them the, the option, which would be a change in board policy, which isn't a problem. I just want to right. throw that out for uh, because it lists. Twelve month, they'll have both days off. Right? No, that's for twelve months. No, no. In policy, it says um, Veterans Day is listed. Veterans Day is listed, holiday. and. Holiday. Thanksgiving and the day after, which, which is not the day before. So, so what Director Peter is saying is let them either have the 11th or work the 11th uh, or swap it for the 23rd. Because but I believe your, that the 23rd, any classified or 12 month, would have they to can, take it as a vacation day. They have to take a vacation day. Or, right. They would have to, 12 monthers would have to use that for a vacation, use a vacation day. And I think the, the only problem I could see with that is, you know, supervisor, supervisors is going to be that, okay, <clears throat> my supervisor's not here on the 11th, so I'm going to work the 11th, and who's going to be supervising the employee that's, did not that have, our people aren't self-starters. Did just you have that right. issue last November, last Thanksgiving, when we <clears> pretty <throat> much said you can leave, and there were people that chose to I work? Don't, I don't think so, but it wasn't a was it wasn't a full day though. No, it was a partial. It was a partial day. Right. It was the difference. Um, 
that the board had to decide that. If people brought this to me, if I was if I was one of those people, I would much rather have my 23rd because I'm going to be involved in Thanksgiving or travel. I'd rather have school on the 11th. Myself. Well, tracking it might be an issue though. Mm -hmm. Who's taking this off and who's working this day? I don't know. So, any more thoughts about this? The state, you want to talk about it? Um, we only have a few more minutes of the hearing. So, that's okay. Didn't know if there was, do, is there a decision the board wants to make about that or leave it the way it is or? We have to make it the Okay. But, the other question I had January the 2nd, offices are closed, correct? Because it's a paid holiday, day after uh, New Year's yeah, Day, yes. since it falls on. Uh, is that it says since New Year's Day is on a Sunday, they get the money. Monday. Christmas break. That is correct. School, but it didn't say the offices were closed. So. Well, because the other in that there. case, in that case, you have to use. Uh, even though, like the twenty third of Christmas, let's see, they would probably get. I don't know the 26. I have to look at that. But if they want to be gone the 27th through the 30th, they have to use vacation. Correct. Okay. So people can, even though it says district offices closed, we do that so parents aren't coming to the buildings and right. trying to trying to visit with with folks when they're actually gone. But if they want to be gone, that I think it's 27, 28, 29, or 30, they have to use vacation. So, but the 27th on December is identified. The offices are closed. Right. So are they really open? Well, yes. If you look up here, it also says um, Christmas break, no school, because we're back in. The flexibility there is for the, the, uh, the 12 month. The 12 month. Mm -hmm. I, need you, to look, you, I need to look at that. Yeah, you had just said that the 27th <clears throat> yes. was they would have to use because I was using days. the day before which is the Friday and the day after but if we use there they get two days of Christmas isn't that right Beth Ann? Yeah. and we could do the 26th and 27th or we would do the 23 and the 26 I'd have to split but this is the 23rd I the know I, I see that now So what we do is we take the 27th and we make it the 26th. So if we do that, how will it affect us approving the calendar? Mm -hmm. It will not. Well, oh, it will okay. not. It will not. Is there anybody else that wants to address the board in regard to the calendar? Guess not. So, <coughs> six well, we have two, what, two minutes before mm -hmm. six o'clock. Okay. So, we'll stare at each other for two minutes. Thank you, Facebook. Dr. Isaacson, will you pull up that G policy? Um, it'll say support staff leaves and absences at the very bottom of it. So you're going to change the That's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, so Well, okay. Is the other issue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. To be, what, um, what policy is it? Are you asking? So if we go to 26, then those are the days. Is it GCDA? Oh, 
GCBDA. GDBDA. Okay. Scroll down to the very bottom. Tell me what it says at Christmas. Our school will be enough for you. Which I think it says two days. Christmas, two days. It says two days at Christmas. Two days at Thanksgiving. Okay. Either we change that 23 to a 26, or we change the 26 to a 26. All right. Close it. Close it. Okay. I need a motion to adjourn the calendar hearing. So moved. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. Second. Thank you, Lisa. So, uh, the motion on the floor is to adjourn the calendar committee. All in favor? Raise your hand.